doesn't mean it's breaking. It's Are you sure? Are you? I'm gonna try it. Matthew. Matthew. Oh, John John what I'd like to talk about is, is just the quality of the play And not, not far. Uh, the kick out for Trevor O'Reilly from Carlo in the middle yeah. of the field okay. and it uh, goes over backs and forwards into uh, JJ Smith. And uh, JJ Smith lays it off to Brendan Murphy. Brendan Murphy could kick a point here for Carlo. Has he got it? Yes, he has. And uh, that is the second point for Carlo uh, coming from JJ Smith uh, just after uh, 16 minutes. So McGaugh's going to have to go for this on his left foot and that'll be a powerful left footed point if it goes over. That's a tremendous goal from John McGaugh. To put with goal. Four points to two up here in Dr. Cullen Park, uh, just uh, coming up to uh, uh, 17 minutes of uh, the first half. I'm going to leave it to uh, Daniel St. Ledger again. Yeah, St. Ledger, uh, Ledger is going to have a go at this uh, from just on the 45 uh, metre line. Daniel St. Ledger with a score of four points to two and just uh, 22 minutes gone in this match in Dr. Cullen Park. Daniel St. Ledger to uh, take this kick right just on the 45. Hardly a breeze blowing at this stage as Daniel St. Ledger kicks this and it's right in the black spot. Three, four points to three. They're lining up to take it already, but uh, no quick three. Ed Finnegan is the one who hoops it right in. This is going in on top of Thomas Walsh. Thomas Walsh knocks it down to uh, J.J. Smith and J.J. Smith knocks it over the bar. And that's uh, Daniel St. Ledger kicks the ball over the bar. Uh, that's what the play was, Dale. Pick it in high for Thomas Walsh. Ball over to the uh, Alan Kelly. The centre half forward is in the middle of the field for Carlo. It's in the Carlo half at the moment. And this is a long ball uh, by uh, J.J. Smith right up the pitch. They go for this Thomas Walsh. He's on the sideline. Ends up with the ball. He's just outside the 45. Thomas Walsh with the ball trying to decide what he'll do with. Lays it off to uh, J.J. Smith who's gone forward. Uh, J.J. Smith on the right foot. This could be the lead for Carlo by J.J. Smith. And it's gone. It's gone over the bar. Carlo in front. Alan Curran from the kick out. Alan Curran back in to, uh, to uh, Dara Foley. And uh, Dara Foley on the right foot is kicked. And Alan Curran is going over the bar. Another point for Carlo. necessarily agree but I think it was going against them until the Carlo man JJ Smith still pull him down and then there was no doubt about it. Yes Michael uh, thank you for your reading for us guys you know we have also taken these chances the value of this one so John McGrath I think it's a good free point to take a mind we need this but it's a point behind but we can wrap it yeah, they were going uh, quite well for the scale size up to the 16 minutes when they were leading uh, four points to do. In fact, for the first 20 minutes, it was just in the last 10 minutes or so that Carlo have got back on top. Although John McGrath has this kick uh, just uh, halfway between the 21 and the 45, uh, just uh, more or less in front of the goals. It's uh, absolutely perfect for a right footed kicker. Uh, John McGrath back in the Wicklow team after a long absence. He kicks this very well. I think he's got it too, and that's a great kick. This might be, we missed the time there, three years ago, and we've got four years in the half. It's off to uh, 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 J.P. Dalton. J.P. Dalton kicks it up here to Leighton Glenn. We haven't seen much of him in the last ten minutes or so. He got, can he do something spectacular now? Kicks the ball right across. That's a good ball for J.P. Dalton, or for uh, Shawnee Furlong. Shawnee Furlong has to turn. Nobody waited. The full-back's on his back. It has to be a free in. It is a free in. And Shane Redmond, no chance there against Shawnee Furlong. Had to hold on to him, and this is... Uh, um, a, a ticking certainly for the full back and surely an easy point for uh, uh, Wicklow just outside the 21 six points to five just to make it six all just coming up to half time we haven't seen how much time there is uh, to be added uh, but uh, Shawnee Furlong with this kick kicks it right over the bar and it goes six all
Yes, Roy, for the right of Going 14 yard line, lays it out to. Uh, uh, to uh, Rory Finn, Rory Finn up to uh, John McGrath, John McGrath back to Rory Finn in the middle to uh, uh, Alan Nolan who's uh, gone forward Alan Nolan, good ball in towards Dean Odlam Dean Odlam out of the 45, has to turn look around, uh, goes around the corner back here to Nolan, still going still has the ball, good layoff to JP Dalton on the right foot and is this the lead for Wicklow from JP Dalton, it is I think, yes it is to be had an inspirational uh, first half. There goes the half time whistle, in fact, here in uh, in uh, Dr. Cullen Park with the score of seven points to six. Back to you, Matthew. Wicklow leading seven points to six. John McGrath just about to uh, kick this five minutes into the second half in the Salians uh, Football League. Kicks it short. Goes back to Paul Earl. Paul Earl drops it though and has to really recover and go with it. Uh, Paul Earl says, gives the ball back to McGrath again. Can he kick it from there? John McGrath back in the Wicklow team. Heading towards the Wicklow 45, he's still going. Have they found him again? He ends up on the floor, but referee doesn't give the free this time. Lays it off to Alan Curran. Alan Curran on the right foot, a dummy solo, and now a shot from Alan Curran and puts it over the bar. That's a great goal. Towards Leighton Glynn, Leighton Glynn takes it just inside the 45 for uh, Wicklow. Leighton Glynn trying to get around Brendan Murphy, still with the ball, still uh, solo with the ball. Now goes round, uh, lays off to Paddy Dalton, and Paddy Dalton is going for on the right foot. Oh, and what a kick by Paddy Dalton! Oh, that's a great score. Um, and Brendan Murphy, that was a bad play by Wicklow, really, to throw that or get that ball away. And Brendan Murphy, for Carlo comes charging down the field, he's gone past the middle of the field, he's still going, he's going to go past Darren Hayton now. <laughs> Paddy Dalton gets a wonderful hand on the ball uh, Paddy Dalton and does he keep it in play he does keep it in play that is the tackle of the match by Paddy Dalton and Brendan Murphy he robbed Brendan Murphy in full flight dived in knocked the ball away from and we can have a chance for James Stafford to come attacking again a big ball by James Stafford into the full forward line and Leighton James takes it that's a tap over for Leighton I think and has he got it he has got it on the great point with Finnegan for uh, Carlo. He finds he finds Connor Pullins. Connor Pullins into Sean Gannon. Uh, this is dangerous. As Thomas Ball says to the Mullins, Mullins in front of the goal. Slow heart in the net. Oh, that was on the card from the time the ball came up the line. Uh, this free is taken. Uh, in towards uh, Mullins again, Thomas Mullins, he's made a bit of a difference, he's lining up this with a right foot, kicks it right across the goals, then Ledger gets it over to run the post, this be a certain goal for Thomas Ball. On the 14 metre line, uh, just to the right of the post, just left of the post, ideal for uh, a right footed kicker. Daniel St. Ledger, surely he'll tap over. He does tap it over, and suddenly it's 2 10. It's uh, 2 uh, 8 to 10 points after uh, 22 minutes, and uh, the line ball which Paddy Dalton locks into the square. Now, can Leighton Glynn get it? This Leighton Glynn should get a point here if he can make space. He's gone around the corner back, he's still going low, hard, and it's in the net! goal for Wicklow from Leighton Glynn and Wicklow are back in the game from there he's going to go for it Leighton Glynn on the right foot has gone over the bar Shawnee Forlam with the ball he's going to try and go around the full back still going Shawnee Forlam on the left foot Shawnee Forlam with a kick and a smashing point by Shawnee Forlam Corey Finn with the ball kicks it in towards the full forward line hits two against three the point with the ball right now, oh, it just breaks finally for Carlo. And Carlo, oh, they've thrown it away. Paddy Dalton comes in and robbed it. He's dropped it. It's knocked over by to, to uh, Nathan Lynn. Nathan Lynn is a signing. Signing back to Nathan Lynn. And Nathan Lynn over the bar. Yes! Sean Gannon. Sean Gannon gives it over to uh, JJ Smith on the right foot. JJ Smith on the right foot. It's gone over the bar. It's level again. Can you be? And it's a draw in Dr. Cullen Park after all that. What a match. Why do you